Whew, that was a tight fit. Princess. Oh. <laughs> Nothing, it's just... This is unexpected. I figured you'd be in a cell, or at least, I don't know, restrained in some way. Not just left here relaxing on a bed. Is this... Is this the king's room? Of course that lecherous man put you in here. I would have thought he'd put you in a cell or something, but I guess as royalty it also makes sense to a degree. I found you by pure chance. The layout of this castle is slightly different than what the map presents it as. Your father's study. The castle has a bunch of old blueprints and maps for the other kingdoms, including this one. I'm not too sure why they were in there, but it helped me partially navigate through the vents. Anyways, that's irrelevant. Is the king still around? We should be quick. A meeting? <laughs> How careless. I can't believe he ordered someone to kidnap you in the middle of the night. Is this man right in the head? <laughs> sorry, sorry. All the royal guards have been worried since your disappearance. I set out to look for you the moment I found your room empty. I'm sure the other guards were deployed to search for you as well. I just couldn't sit and wait for the final decision. <laughs> Don't act surprised. Of course I was worried. I'm supposed to be by your side. And yet, you were snatched under my watch. I'd been beating myself up for the last two days. He didn't do anything to you, did he? Okay, good. I just needed to make sure. Come on, let's get you out of here. The guards aren't aware of me yet, but I'm sure the king will have a fit once he realizes you're gone. Without you, his threats to your father won't hold much longer. What? Is this about your father? I know. It's tough watching you get so anxious about your father's affairs, but we'll get through this. I'm sure we'll find a way to change things so that this won't happen again. But first, we have to get you out of here. Right. We're gonna have to sneak back through the vent system. On the way here, I saw that one of the detours led to the courtyard. Once we break the vent door and sneak in there, we can make a break for the back entrance. <laughs> Shit. Come on, we don't have much time left. I finally get to sit down without being too worried. This feels... nice. How are you feeling, princess? You probably dealt with quite a bit in the last few days. No? <laughs> well, you are one tough cookie. I'm glad to see you back. Was the ride difficult with your dress at all? I know you usually wear something different when you're horseback riding. Really? Oh, I see. Don't worry. If need be, I'll get you some clothes before we arrive back. I don't want you to have a hard time after all that happened. Are you certain? <laughs> hey, it's only fair that I'm still worried after rescuing you just now. I can only believe your word that everything is fine, but what if you didn't get enough sleep? Or even eat? Uh, did he feed you? <laughs> yes. He actually did do all of that. Huh. Well, as long as he didn't harm you, then I'll be okay. I was just... I was starting to doubt that I'd be able to find you by the time I arrived. Oh, I was terrified. I haven't properly slept in the last few nights, so I'm really tired. It's fine. I'll get some rest when I can. Now that you're safe, I can rest a little easier, actually. I fear this is somewhat my fault. No, no, don't sugarcoat it. You were under my watch for the night. 
I knew I shouldn't have left my post, but I wanted to surprise you with something. Just for a moment. You're not upset that I left my post? I see. Even so, I'd still like to apologize to you, princess. I'm so sorry I left you unattended. I honestly was surprised the king didn't punish me right there and then. Anyway, let me go get that present for you. I think you'll like it. Alright, here we go. It actually feels a bit silly that this is what made me step away from my post, but it was this blanket. There wasn't really a great time for me to just give it to you since you've been so busy, and that's why... <sighs> yeah. Anyway, here you are. Wait, how'd you know? I didn't think you'd remember what this was. Just how often are you checking up on me? Aren't I the one that's supposed to be checking up on you? <laughs> I knew you weren't always working. I'm gonna have to be harder on you for that. Well, I can't say being a princess is easy. I barely have the time to form hobbies like this myself. That's why I would work on this whenever we were in the study. Yep. Every time. You just weren't always paying attention. I wanted to give you a present as a thank you for picking me as a royal guard. I wanted to give you something from the heart. So, I decided to give you my first ever knitting project. But, I decided to add some finishing touches just for you. <laughs> of course! I said it was from the heart. It's a nice, insulated blanket. I sewed some fabric underneath it so you won't get cold under it either. You're very welcome, princess. I know it's not much compared to the other types of gifts you receive, but at least it'll be useful to you. You, you treasure it. Stop, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> anyway, you should stay under it. The moon's rising and this campfire can only help so much. I'm getting tired. Are you getting tired at all? I'm not sure how much sleep you've gotten, but I'm sure a nice long rest will do you some good in a bit. Oh, what's with the long sigh? I thought you were all smiles and giggles a second ago. You can tell me. I'm here for you after all. Yeah? What? What do you mean when you say that? I'm not sure what you're saying. I... You're serious, aren't you? You really don't want to be a princess anymore. <laughs> I respect your decision. Why wouldn't I? It's not easy managing a kingdom. Having eyes on you all the time, waiting for your every move, every command, having to save face when in the public eye, I mean, it's exhausting. I guess... I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You seem to be interested in geography and exploring. You were always so interested when I told you my stories of adventure. It makes sense that you'd rather go exploring than be stuck filling out paperwork. So, that begs the question. What do you want to do now? Since you don't want to be of royalty, are you going to just run away? Go into hiding? Change your appearance and start a new life somewhere else? If you go down that route, we can't head back to the castle for anything. Even if we snuck in, it'll be difficult since the security has been upped. It'll all be for nothing if you get caught. The moment you're found, news of your return will spread like wildfire. And if your father finds out that you're back, he might just keep you under house arrest. Then it'll be much harder for you to escape. 
With you as his only child, he needs you to stay alive to carry on the lineage. If you really wanted to collect stuff, it'd probably be better later on down the line. But it'd be better if we started fresh. It's better than carrying all that stuff around anywhere. If you really wanted to collect all that stuff, it'd probably be better later on down the line, after things settle down between the kingdoms. What? <laughs> I thought that much was obvious. I'm your personal guard, remember? Of course I'd be coming with you. You're such a stickler for rules sometimes. It doesn't matter. When I swore to protect you, it wasn't just to a princess. It was to you. You really think I'd let you go after having the best last three years of my life? <laughs> Not a chance. I don't really have a place to return to anyway. I sold all my possessions when I joined the Royal Guards, so I'd have to start fresh too. And if you're worried about money, well, <laughs> we can just work. Yeah, maybe start farming in the countryside or helping out at a local tavern or something. If you don't want to be a princess, then you've got to blend in with the common folk. Don't worry though. Like I said, I'll be alongside you. Every step of the way. You don't have to think about it right this second. We've still got another day and a half to go. But whatever you choose, I'll be there for you. My. Sounds like you've already made up your mind. This is your decision. And, knowing how your father's enemies are always making you a target, I can see the appeal. So, if you really think you're picking that direction, where did you want to go? The three neighboring kingdoms on this continent aren't safe for you, and the alliance seems to have been broken. A war is about to break out. We must stay hidden somewhere safe. There? Across the great waters. And that doesn't sound too bad. I know a place that's safe. It's somewhere I used to visit a lot before I became an adventurer, and then a royal guard. The last time I visited, it was still the same old village. Lots of greenery, lots of flat land. The perfect place to start a new life. It's a small village, so not many people know about it. It's around where you're talking about. If we can change your appearance, even just a little bit, I think that'd be the perfect place to stay. Hmm. We might have to start with cutting your hair. A lot of people know you by your long hair. I know it's not preferable, but it'll grow out over time. And we don't want you to get found out. I might have to stop at a merchant to see if we can find you some spare clothes. At least something to get you out of this royal garb. Don't worry. You can count on me, princess. I'll make sure you're safe. What? Oh, right. I guess I can't just call you princess anymore. But I can't call you by your first name either. It feels a bit informal. Besides, even if we change your hair and appearance, having the same name as the princess could lead to speculation. It's not like we can change your eye or hair color. We'll have to change that up too. Should I just give you a pet name for now? I could just call you darling or honey, but I don't want to overstep. Something that just shows endearment, that we're close. You actually prefer them. Really? Okay. Darling. I'll take care of everything for you. Right now, just rest. When morning comes, I'll cut your hair so you don't have to sleep through all the itchy strays. Right now, just rest. When morning comes, I'll cut your hair so you don't have to sleep through all the itchy strays. And then we'll take the path down to the merchants in the neighboring town to get you clothes. I think after that, we should try to get some rations and catch a boat. 
I'm sure there are other things we're missing, but we'll get to that in the morning. My head is starting to ache. You should rest too. Tomorrow is going to be a long day after all. <sighs> I'll set things up under the tart. When you're ready, I'll put out the fire. But let's not stay up too late, okay? Okay.